Hey there, Ricardo Bueno here with Diverse Solutions, and today we wanted to cover the three widgets that are accessible through your DS ID Express plugin. And they are the IDX Areas widget, the IDX Listings widget, and the IDX Search widget. As you can see, when you log into your WordPress dashboard, hover on down to, uh, under the Appearance section, click on Widgets, and it'll bring you to the page with your available widgets. The first one we're going to review is the IDX Areas widget. What you want to do is locate that widget as you see here. Click and drag it into the appropriate space in your sidebar. Once you've placed it there, uh, here's an example. You can designate your different coverage areas. So in this case, we've already titled this widget our coverage areas. We're going to select by either cities, communities, tracks, or zip codes. In this case, we're going to specify cities, and using our test data, we're just going to go ahead and select Los Angeles, Irvine. I know these are <laughs> way out of range in this case. Go ahead and click Save. And when we go to our site, you'll see the widget available on your sidebar. The next widget that we want to review is the IDX Listings widget. This widget essentially allows you to show listings within an area, whether it's city, community, track, or zip code. You can show your own listings, the listings associated with your agent ID, or your office listings, the listing associated with your office ID. This widget can be configured to show up to at least 50 listings at a time and can be set to show properties in a list, a map, or as a detailed slideshow. To grab and activate that widget, again, locate the widget in your available widget section. In this case, it's IDX listings. You want to click and drag that widget over to your sidebar. As you can see here, we already have it activated. Go ahead and title it. We've titled it Latest Real Estate. We've gone ahead and set it to display at least 25 listings. We want it to show in a list by default. We went ahead and picked an area. In this case, we selected an area type as city. Hit save on your search and it'll display in the following format as you see here latest real estate you have your list of all 25 listings when you click on details it'll show one listing at a time and you can toggle between listings by clicking the next or previous field here you can show to display those listings in a map format and it'll display a Google map along with the little icons that you can click and take you to the listing details page. Going back to that available widget section, the last widget is your IDX search widget and it basically allows you to show an MLS search form um, in the manner that you see here. Again, you want to locate that widget in your available widget section. Click and drag it over to your sidebar and in this case we've already titled it as real estate search we want to display cities, zip codes, and we went ahead and displayed the following cities. Anaheim, Anaheim Hills, Irvine, Orange, Tustin, and Yorba Linda, as, long as, the as well as the following zip codes. Go ahead and hit save on that widget, and it'll display in the following format. When a user comes to your website, they can select the property type. Say we want to do single family for sale any of your available cities, in this case Anaheim, when they click search for properties, it takes you to the MLS content as displayed on your site as per the criteria that you went ahead and insert. So again, just to cover, we have your IDX areas, IDX listings, and your IDX search. All of these widgets that you can add to your blog uh, to bring people and visitors to your MLS listings using your new DSID Express. Thank you, and once again, this is Ricardo with Diverse Solutions.